It's finally been confirmed, thanks to Randy Orton's heated discussion with Triple H on SmackDown. The Viper will indeed face Kevin Owens at Crown Jewel. However, the game remains worried for his safety. He sold how dangerous Owens can be. This, along with the fact that KO's current storyline is the most interesting in WWE, should mean that Orton will be staring at the lights in Saudi Arabia. So, with Kevin Owens most likely winning the match at Crown Jewel, here are four ways he can get the victory over Randy Orton. This would be one of the more impactful outcomes at Crown Jewel. Randy Orton has hardly been beaten since returning to WWE last November, so Kevin Owens pinning him clean can be the company's way of saying this storyline is a big deal. The two former friends can have a competitive match where KO ends it with multiple pop-up powerbombs. It would be similar to how he defeated John Cena at Elimination Chamber 2015. Of course, this would likely mean Owens will go on to challenge Cody Rhodes at Survivor Series while Orton is left behind. This would be more in line with the heelish tactics Kevin Owens is likely to indulge in. After all, Randy Orton is always kept really strong. KO can easily pick up the win at Crown Jewel, via a simple low blow or a chair shot behind the referee's back. However, this finish would leave a lot to be desired. Another match would then be likely for Survivor Series. As a result, Owen's potential undisputed WWE title shot against Cody Rhodes would be delayed. Triple H did warn Randy Orton that Kevin Owens is as dangerous as ever. The WWE CCO stated that he was trying to protect the Viper from KO, before ultimately booking the match for Crown Jewel. What if the game's fears come true? Owens' apron powerbomb used to be one of the most feared moves in WWE. It has been a part of his moveset recently, too, but lacks the element of danger that used to accompany it. That could return at Crown Jewel when KO sends Orton back, first into the hardest part of the ring. This would mean an instant win for the prize fighter, while the 14-time world champion re injures his back. Perhaps, Kevin Owens could beat Randy Orton up so badly at Crown Jewel that he has to leave WWE, at least for a while. What a statement that would be. Of course, Triple H cannot do anything physical right now. That doesn't mean the game can't be a regular part of WWE programming again. He can very easily turn heel by siding with Kevin Owens, which would explain why he wanted to protect Randy Orton from the prize fighter. Triple H may have wanted to save KO for a title match with Cody Rhodes but could be forced to play his hand earlier than expected. A faction with him, Owens, and other frustrated superstars like DIY or the Street Profits, would make for exciting television. All the WWE CCO needs to do at Crown Jewel is hand Kevin Owens a sledgehammer, while Randy Orton is left dumbfounded. A partnership between the two has been teased before. 2. With Triple H helping KO win the Universal Championship by betraying Seth Rollins.